okay. On these winter ass days when it's cold AF <laughs> and when there's a pandemic involving the respiratory system and when we come from a society that doesn't know how to process grief and grief lodges in the lungs and when we come from a society that has a very out of balance relationship with fire and when we perhaps have become very sedentary, sitting around, isolating, staying still in our houses, in our rooms. This is a very important practice. So this is some pranayama that we're about to get into right now um, in Vedic uh, breath technique from the Indus Valley. Um, that comes with an entire cosmology that we're not going to get into right now. I invite you to go check that shit out, pranayama. And this very practice is called kapalabhati, which means skull shining breath. And it's also known as breath of <laughs> my directions. <laughs> special <laughs> breath of fire <laughs> hi my name is Amani my mom says I'm special all right so get in a comfortable seated position we're gonna spend five minutes doing some breathing and this breath will help with focus, will help move energy, will help warm you up, will help clear out your belly, help uh, your digestion, help your intuition, um, help your mood and your attitude. Um, and what else? Let me know what else you can feel this uh, being of assistance to. So sit in a comfortable position. Um, some people have instructed me to sit with on my knees. Some people have instructed me to sit in a chair. Some people have instructed me to sit cross-legged. So I think it's it's open to whatever feels best to you. Um, some of my teachers have said, put your hands on your knees. Some have said hands on your hips. Some have said it's okay to put your hand on your belly to help you feel it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to breathe in in such a way that we're expanding our belly. We're getting that pregnant belly, we're pushing it out. And then we're going to exhale, snapping our, our belly in towards our back, snapping it all the way in so that we're pushing all the breath that we can out swiftly, quickly in one motion. And some folks say that you need to do it through your nose. Some folks say you breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, the way that I find feels best to me is in through my nostrils and out through my mouth. So that's the way that I'm gonna demo it. But again, there are options for what feels best for you. Okay, so we're breathing in quickly, breathing out quickly. And we're having about an equal breath in and an equal breath out, a length of breath. So just, and no space in between the breaths, just in and out. And we're pushing that belly out again in that inhale and snapping out and it's a passive inhale. It's more about the exhale. We're focused on the exhale, the snapping in and the pushing out of breath. This is a clearing activity. We're also clearing toxins from our body. Okay, we'll set us a timer. We're gonna do this for five minutes. You ready? One, two, three.
keep going. Let that energy circulate. Enjoy it. Keeping your body relaxed, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Keep going. Focusing on that exhale, letting that inhale happen naturally. Noticing the workout that this is and letting that workout take that in, let that happen. Keep going. Breath of fire, careful with lightheadedness. Make sure you're grounded and in a place that if you fall out a little bit, you can you don't hurt yourself. And listen to your body. Don't push yourself too far. If your body's saying stop and rest, take it in, do that. If you got more in you, if this is good for you, keep going. <laughs> Snap in that belly in. Feeling that fire grow, feeling it spread out through your body, feeling the tingling, feeling the lightheadedness. Take it in, let it distribute through your whole body. Keep going. If it's good, if you got it, if you want to. <sighs> Noticing that this can just be a one minute practice. This can just be a two minute practice. You can do this for 10 minutes and get your fucking air circulating, get your fire up. <sighs> but this is a good transition thing. This is a good like snap into new energy. If you need to move into something with some energy, if you're feeling groggy, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling depressed, you can get this. Making sure to check your shoulders, relax your shoulders, relax your hips, keep your whole body relaxed, relax your face. Okay, we're gonna take a few more. Five, four, three, two. One, excuse me. Ooh, and get those sensations, feel those sensations. Take some deep breaths in, take some deep breaths out. Let that energy circulate. Notice the sensations where you feel it most in your body. And let it distribute, let it circulate, let it move through your whole body, open your body. Let those breaths move the energy throughout your whole body and stabilize the energy, integrate the energy that you freed up. Continue the release of whatever energy you're releasing with those exhales. Dropping in to the back of your body, dropping into your sit bones, releasing your weight into whatever you're sitting on, whatever's holding you up with each exhale. 
Letting all the energy that's moving rise up and out through the top of your crown, through your central channel, through your whole body, out into your extremities. Let it warm up your fingers and your toes. breath of fire, that pranayama, that breath work. Change your state like this, bring in energy like this, different practices, clear that energy, release energy, calm you down like this. Beautiful, powerful agency that we have over our entire being and our entire state through the breath. Stay warm, y'all. Stay warm in your heart, in your attitude, and in your energy. Keep that fire strong and balanced as best you can. Blessings. Happy solstice. Happy return of the sun. Every day, we got more sun now. Every day we got more fire returning to the sacred darkness, to this place of womb, this place of internal hibernation going into our essence to feel the essence of where we come from, of who we are, of what we are. And let the fire return with the wisdom, with the information that we received in our time going in Peace and blessings, y'all.